Welcome to Sew Anastasia. And today we are gonna make a skirt with no elastic, no zippers. This is going to be the easiest skirt ever to make. And it's also gonna make a great gift to give for the holiday season. Speaking of gifts, this is my third gift idea for my gift giving list for 2022. And these are all going to be on a playlist and you can check out the link down below to see all of my gift giving ideas. Now let's get into creating this super easy skirt. The first thing you're going to need is the pattern and you can download that from SewMeAnastasia.com and this comes in multiple sizes, extra small through 6X. So this is a skirt everyone can fit into and you're probably wondering how is that? Well, it's a wrap skirt, so it's very forgiving within the size that you choose. So if you roughly know what size your friend or family member is that you're gifting this to, you can go ahead and create their size and then they can adjust it perfectly on their self with the ties that are going to be on the skirt. Or you can make this super cute skirt for yourself and no matter how much you eat this holiday, it's still going to fit you. Once you have the pattern cut out, it's going to look something like this. It's only a two piece pattern, so you know it's gonna be super simple to make. And you can make it longer, you can make it shorter. I've shortened this one a little bit for myself since I'm a little shorty. So go ahead, choose your length, cut out your size, and then you're going to cut out your fabric. So once they're all cut out, you should have two front panels, and then you should have one back piece. And when you cut these out, the back's cut on fold, and then the front is cut too. You're also gonna need some ribbon, so that way you can cut two waist ties to make this skirt stay on. Make sure you follow the ribbon chart so you know exactly how long to cut them, because one is shorter than the other one. For all of you beginner sewers out there, on fold might be a little confusing, so I'm gonna go over it real quick. So remember when I said that the back was on fold. So when you lay out your fabric, you need to have a fold of fabric. And then the pattern piece that says on fold, you need to lay it on the fold directly on the fold. And you don't cut up the side. So that way when you open it up, you have a full piece. Now if you have it back here, away from the fold, it's gonna end up bigger. And if you have it way over the fold, your pattern piece is gonna end up smaller. So you want it directly on the fold of the fabric. And then when you open it up, you end up with a full piece. Now's the exciting fun part. We get to sew it together and you're not gonna believe how fast this comes together. Our first step is going to be sewing up the side seams. So I have everything laid out right side face up. So I have my back panel and then my two front panels. So these right here are our side seams. So when we sew these together, we need to flip them right sides together. And then we are just going to sew from here to here. And then we're gonna flip this one right sides together. And then we're gonna sew from top to bottom here. So I'm going to be serging my seams together today, but if you don't have a serger, you can use the overcast stitch on your machine or you could use a straight stitch and then a zigzag. The seam allowance on this pattern is 3 eighths of an inch, so that means I'm coming in 3 eighths of an inch from the edge and then creating my stitch. So let's go sew this up. So now I'm gonna serge those seams together. One done, and now I'm gonna do the other side. And if you're wondering what stitch I'm using on the serger, I'm using the four thread overlock. There we go, now my side seams are finished. If you're enjoying how to make a super simple easy wrap skirt, make sure you subscribe to Sewing Anastasia and hit that notification bell up there so you know when all the new videos come out. I put out a few videos every single week. So much awesome sewing content, right? And if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for watching today. Now let's get back to making our skirt. Now that we have our side seams sewn together, we are almost done, believe it or not. So let's take a look at the seams that we just created. On the inside, they look like this when they're serged together, a beautiful seam here. And then when we open it up, our seam is gonna look like this on the outside. All I need to do is give it a nice little press and it'll lay flat. The next thing we're gonna do is finish all the edges all the way around the skirt. Now I'm going to be serging it, but you can use a zigzag or an overcast stitch on your home sewing machine. We are literally gonna go all the way around this skirt. No edge left unfinished. Okay, now we're gonna serge all the way around. And we're finished with the serge. Now we have all of our edges finished. Let's take a look. Look at how nice our serge edges look. Nice and clean and finished. 
Now we're gonna hem the entire skirt. We're gonna fold over the edge a half inch to the inside and stitch it down. And this is called a single folded hem. So we're gonna take all the edges and we're gonna fold it over a half inch and then we're gonna stitch right in the middle of the serge here, or this could be the center of your overcast stitch. And when you get to a corner, you're also gonna fold it over a half inch. So they're gonna meet like this at the corner and it'll give us a nice clean finished corner. So again, I folded over my fabric a half inch to the inside towards the wrong side of the fabric and I'm going to be stitching it down. Don't forget to back stitch at the beginning. When you get to the corner, you can give it a few back stitches and then cut your thread and pull it out. So now we're at a corner here. So all we're gonna do is fold it over a half inch and start at the corner. Now it might not wanna go through because it's real bulky. So start up a little further and then back stitch. When you get to the very end, back stitch and cut. So now we have all of the edges finished on the skirt. Wasn't that easy? So easy. So let's take a look at it. So you can see all the edges on the skirt are turned in and stitched down. So it looks beautiful on the inside and on the outside. Now we need to sew our ribbons on and we're gonna sew one to each end of the skirt. So to do this, I'm gonna take the end of the ribbon and place it under my skirt about a half inch, lining up the ribbon right here, right below my stitch that's there. And then I'm just gonna stitch in the existing stitch that's already there, about a quarter inch away from the edge. And then I'm gonna go real close to the edge and do a little edge stitch and stitch it one more time just to make it nice and secure. And I'm gonna do that to both ends of the skirt. So just doing a straight stitch right over the existing stitch that's there from when we hemmed it. And now I'm gonna do an edge stitch right next to it. I'm just gonna scoot it over a little, make sure you're back stitching. At the top and the bottom to make it nice and secure. And now we are just gonna do that to both ends. So I've got one end done and now we're going to do the other. Back stitch and cut. Now we have our ribbons on the end and we have one last step. We need to create a buttonhole so that way we can get the ribbon to wrap around us. Okay, so let's go over exactly where this buttonhole is going to go and I'm gonna explain how this wrap skirt works. So our wrap skirt is going to flap on top of itself and you have two different size ribbons. One has a long ribbon and one has a short ribbon. Now I've folded over the one that has the long ribbon and this long ribbon needs to go through a buttonhole, which means that we need to put a buttonhole on the side that has the short ribbon. And I'm gonna put it right where the side seam is, right behind the side seam. So I'm gonna measure my ribbon. You could use thicker or thinner ribbon, measure your ribbon, and make sure your buttonhole is about the size of your ribbon. And we're gonna start the buttonhole right below the hem that we have at the waist. If you need help sewing a buttonhole, make sure you check out my buttonhole video. There'll be a card up here and a link down below. So I have my buttonhole foot on for a manual buttonhole and I've got the front of it lined up where I want to start it. Remember your buttonhole is gonna go backwards first, so make sure you're starting at the waist to go backwards. I've got it as big as I want it. Now I'm gonna hit the reverse button so I can make my bar tack and come back up. When those two legs line up, make sure you hit your reverse button one more time to finish off the buttonhole. And we're done with the buttonhole. It was that easy. One last step. We just need to open up the buttonhole. So grab your seam ripper and a straight pin. We're gonna take the straight pin and we're gonna put it right at the bottom of the bar tack. 
Now what we're gonna do is take our seam ripper, we're gonna start at the other end and we're just gonna push all the way up to the pin. And then we have our open buttonhole. And the reason we put that pin there was so that way we don't accidentally push right through our buttonhole and ruin our skirt because that would be horrific. That's it, we're done. Let's go over exactly how to wrap this on and then I'll try it on and we can check it out and go over the details. So we're taking the long side of the ribbon and we're putting it through the buttonhole and it's gonna come out on the right side of the fabric. So you can see that that one automatically flaps over there. And then our other flap is going to come over across the front. And now the ribbon, it just goes around the back and then it's gonna meet over here on the side. And then you can tie it in a bow, tie it in a knot, tie it however you like. And then you have a super adorable, cute wrap skirt that has a nice little flair to it. Here it is, the wrap skirt. It is so cute, I love it. I love the A-line style, it's so flattering. The style is so great for so many people. Another reason I love this product for gifting for the holidays. So you can see where we have the ribbon at the side tied coming through the buttonhole. And then you can see the overlap on the skirt here in the front. Voila, how easy was that? Thanks so much for watching Sewing so Anastasia today. I hope you had fun making a skirt with no zipper, no elastic, just a nice easy wrap skirt with a buttonhole. Again, this makes such a great gift for gifting for the holidays. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, give it some applause, and leave a comment down below. I'd love to know what you think of this gift giving idea. And if you have any questions about this video or need help creating this project, leave that down below in the comments as well. And don't forget, I now teach sewing classes in my design studio in Chicago, Illinois, and I teach them virtually. So if you need help with a project at home, you can schedule some one-on-one -on -one time with me. Check that out at SoeAnastasia.com. And don't forget to subscribe to Soe Anastasia on YouTube so that way you get all the awesome videos every single week. And make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when they come out. And I'm on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and TikTok and all the social media websites. So make sure you check those out as well so that way we can stay connected and creative together. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.